So after two months of the same routine, today is the day. It is my very first day back out on the open road on my own schedule. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. Before I can do anything on the open road though, my car and myself need to be a little bit more squared away because it is a disaster in here right now. So with that, welcome to reorganization day. I have a couple of missions for the day. Number one, I have a plan that I made a couple weeks ago, but I need to verify that that plan is still going to work out the way that I want it to because weather is a huge part of it. So I'm going to go check the weather and see if everything I have planned for the next couple weeks is going to happen. Also, I need to acquire some new gear because I don't have everything that I need. And then after that, I need to go to the grocery store because I am completely out of food. I honestly have no idea what I've eaten over the past couple days. Actually, I do know. I have had three protein bars a day for the past couple days, in addition to some other stuff sprinkled in. But that's been my main source of sustenance for the past couple days, and I need to move away from that. So, grocery store, meal prep, and then I'm going to cook an epic dessert because it's the first day back on the road. We ought to celebrate, right? I better turn my car off. Now we can go. It's a colorful pants day. I need to clean that up too. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm having a protein bar for breakfast. We're not quite out of the protein bar stage. No, what? We're going for cookie dough today. Cookie dough. All right, now we're ready. one mostly complete I spent way too much money but the plan is going to happen and I'm pretty stoked about it because it's epic step two which is groceries and meal prep I can't get out mmm Okay, so because I am parked in by the drive-thru, I'm gonna make some food because I have not had anything but a protein bar today and I am a little bit hungry. Never mind. I'm making a break for it. No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> There's nobody behind me. Nobody pull in. Please don't pull in. Please. No, no, no! 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 People, let me out! Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness. We're free from Starbucks. I still need to fuel up before I go grocery shopping, so food first. I have some little breakfast sausage things that I'm going to eat cold because I am already behind schedule. Got things to do, places to be, so. Not too bad.
Safeway is done. Now I need to go to Walmart and I think that's it. And then I'm gonna head down to Sedona because I think one last hurrah in Sedona is in order before I head out of the area. I knew I was forgetting stuff. I also have to run to Sportsman's Warehouse and REI. Hold on. Nothing went flying. I am so surprised. I have some good news and some bad news about Sportsman's Warehouse. The good news is that I was able to try on the new hiking shoes that I want to get. The bad news is they didn't have the ones I want and they also didn't have propane, which was the other thing I was going for, the little ones, which means I'm on to REI now. Texas Roadhouse is the place to be today. Can't say I blame them. Coming in hot. We are going. Last stop, REI. I'm leaking feathers. So hopefully I don't forget to get some tenacious tape at REI. Oh, oh that's... Ow. It's gonna take some effort to eat. Frozen. I feel like I made up some time there. And next, shouldn't take me long at all. So I'm back on schedule. I should be able to prep the food and make dessert and organize the car before I lose the sunlight. There's a few people here. I think the whole town of Flagstaff is at REI today. Last stop. Thank you so much. That's super cool. <laughs> I am really excited to try it. Secure the goods. Last stop is complete. Check out what I found at REI. This force dry shoe and glove dryer. Also, did not forget tenacious tape for the hole and powder baskets. This is a hint. Okay. Sedona, here I come. Get this show on the road. Guys, it knew. My phone knew. 
it says to Planet Fitness, AKA home. It knows me too well. Let's see if I can figure out how to get to Sedona without directions. I hope I can U-turn in Arizona. Go! We made it! <laughs> oh, that was sketchy. That was sketchy. I almost hit a pole, but I didn't. I like to drive around without directions and see A, if I can do it, and B, find new places. And this time I have been successful because I happen to know exactly where I'm at. We're down to almost just cherries, which makes me really sad. Cherry, ew. Watermelon, yes. If you like cherry Jolly Ranchers, I'm judging you. I was not staying there any longer than I had to. This is chaos. Chaos, I tell you. I think I found the spot. Let's check it out. How about this for a camping view? Okay, so I found a spot and now I just have to finish up the list. Meal prep, organize, cook an awesome dessert. Go to bed. I need a pre dinner snack. It's been a long time since I've had a PB&J. I forgot something else at Walmart. Why did I just leave an empty container in here? I have so many questions. I didn't think this through before I pulled the stove out, clearly. Today I am going to be cooking up one of my favorites, honey sriracha ground chicken and broccoli. I think this is the warmest it'll be for the next week and a half, here at least. This is definitely the warmest it'll be for me. First step, cut up all the broccoli. I don't really measure any of the broccoli. I like to slice these super small so that they cook faster. It's just as windy here as it was in flag. Maybe. All right, now that all my little trees are cut up, it's time to make the sauce. This is one of my favorite road life hacks. Use a food scale instead of measuring cups because it will save you a lot of dishes. This is the sweet chili I use. I got it from Safeway. It has no added sugar in it, which I like. So 60 grams of this. I forgot to grab my soy sauce out of here. Oh 
my arms are not long enough for this. All right, soy sauce. 42 grams of honey. I do less sriracha than it calls for. I do 15 grams. It calls for between 30 and 45, but I'm a wimp when it comes to spicy stuff. 15 grams of toasted sesame oil. It's really important that you use toasted sesame oil and not just sesame oil. They have different taste profiles, I guess. I am no expert, but that's what I've read. And for my final additions, I have some ground ginger that I don't measure. And same thing with the garlic powder. We're putting on a show for the pink Jeeps too. All of the road lifers and van lifers that exist in this area are like wild animals to all the pink jeep tours. First round of broccoli is done. Second round of broccoli is done. Now I use ground chicken because it's easy. So I let it brown a little bit on one side and then I kind of flip it over to the other side. Okay, so the chicken is just about fully cooked. Most of it is fully cooked, and I'm going to go ahead and add my sauce now. I'll pick those pieces up, don't worry. All right, there you have it. Honey sriracha ground chicken and broccoli. I just mix these two together, heat them up on my backpacking stove, and this will last me about four meals. Five if I really push it. It's time to clean and organize the car so that I feel like it's in a better place to go off on the open road again. But I wanted to show you what it looks like and how long it's gonna take me to clean up this entire disaster. This is what we're working with. This isn't too bad. Some of this is grocery, some of this is trash. This is where the real fun is. Oh my goodness. Backseat, you guys have been staring at for a while, just a bunch of groceries. And then over here, oh no. I lost my window cover, unsurprisingly. The front is just in need of a vacuum. There's that passenger side from this angle. Let the games begin. Time for the cold stuff. I need to figure out a different method. Moving to the hard part. This goes in the back. 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 Clearly someone did not want to get out of their car to put stuff away. Wonder who that would be. Progress has been made. Oh my gosh, look at that mess. Clean it up. I just use these guys. Much better. This is what we're working with now. It's not perfectly clean, but it's a lot better. Almost done. 
This is the most dad packing job I've ever seen. Nicely done, dad. This is what it looks like now. Some of this trash is gonna be thrown away tomorrow. The towel is drying. Protein on that side, ski stuff on that side, on the right. This really hasn't changed. I'm gonna use this. The back. This side, trash needs to be thrown away. Sweatshirt for easy grabs. And look at that. It looks disorganized, but there's actually a lot more organization to it now. So I feel a lot better. And I got some of the messes cleaned up. Not all of them, but most of them. It isn't perfect, but I'm happy with where it's at. So I'm going to move on to dessert now. I'm going to make the topping first. I have an idea of what I want to add, but I'm just going to wing it. As usual, not measuring. That was a lot. It's okay. Gonna try and keep this on as low of heat as possible. This is actually going to be dinner too. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, so that's my topping. I'm gonna set this aside. I've melted these containers before by setting them directly on here right after I cooked something, so. I always check the temp, make sure it's not gonna melt my Tupperware. Now, add the apples. I am using gala apples, or gala apples, however you pronounce it, because they cook faster. All right, this is looking pretty good. I am going to add my topping. Watch this go flying off of the stove. And because life is short, can't forget the whip. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was almost bad. I am breaking my own rule right now and I'm going to enjoy this while it's hot instead of cleaning up the mess first. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> I'd say it's been a successful first day back on the road. I managed to accomplish everything that I wanted to get done and found a beautiful camp spot. Life is good. I wasn't really expecting to tear up at all, but this is what I love doing. Being out here, seeing all these beautiful places and knowing that I'm, knowing that I'm living my life. It's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> <laughs>